guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. I'm going to do a cloud pour tonight. This is a very special one. I'm hoping it turns out well, but um, I'm trying not to have any expectations because that always gets me in trouble. <laughs> so this is a 16 by 20 gallery wrapped artist loft um, canvas. And I we're gonna, my colors are, I, I tend to do ocean pours and tonight is no difference, but I do have them in little bottles for a little more control. This is Modern Masters Pearl White, and it has a little bit of Modern Masters Oyster, and I put a dab of uh, Amsterdam Titanium White in it, just to give it a little bit more uh, opacity. And this I usually use under my gold. My gold tonight, we have Deco Art Metallics, Deco Art Americana Metallics in 24 karat gold, mixed with a little bit of uh, golden quinacridone nickel azo gold. We have Golden's um, Green Gold. <clears throat> this is Golden's Teal. This is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And this is Golden Thalo Turquoise mixed with Modern Masters Venetian Blue. So those are my colors tonight. I have prepped my canvas. I take the back, I've sprayed the back. I don't have push pins in it tonight. I'm trying these little levelers out to see if they work. I haven't had any luck with them in the past and so we'll see what happens right now. So um, I have my Deco Art Satin Enamels Mix. I will put the, um, the recipe in the description. And I'm very grateful to Kathleen Osmore for asking me to do this collab with her. She's such a great artist. I, her, all of her pieces are so elegant. I just love them. And she always, her composition, I, <laughs> I've always been lacking in comp, comp, I can't even say the word, composition, that I don't know that I'll be able to keep up with her, but we just, uh, we just wanna make pretty art for you guys tonight. So Kathleen, this one's for you. Now that was a nine ounce cup. This takes uh, 14 ounces. So I've got another cup here. Now with thinner paints, it, you probably can get away with less. So I'm gonna move these out of the way just so I don't get a lot of stuff on them. And off we go. Coming around to this side, off we go. Bring it to center. Bring it over to that corner and off we go. <laughs> oh, and it's moving really nice tonight. I like that. So I'm gonna make sure I've got all my covers co covers cornered. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I have my corners covered. Covers cornered. I'm not going to bed yet. Covers cornered. Oh my gosh. Oh, talk about dyslexic. Sorry guys. <laughs> know what's wrong with me today. Oh, anyhow, we are going to do some ocean colors. So, wondering if I can get it to do like an ocean looking pour. So I'm going to put this, oh, I'm going to torch first. gone okay so I am going to go across whoa Wilbur this way with that is the um, oyster and the I usually put it over top and it tends to react well with the oyster and the um, pearlescent white so I'm gonna try and keep the colors 
you keep them together, you don't have a lot of separation. So that was the teal. This is the artist loft in metallic cobalt blue. Oh, I forgot. Oh, no, I do have the green gold here. This, do I put the green gold in now? I'm gonna put a little bit here. Now green really takes over, so you gotta be careful with it. And then this is the phthalo turquoise. Now, it looks like I'm done pouring paints. And I might, might well be, I'm not sure. But once we tip it, we have the option of adding more. We can always add and subtract, no matter what. So, since the gold has a hard time selling, I'm gonna try and bring it down first. And then bring it back. lot of paint on there. I can, can you see the river of paint going all the way to that end over there? All right, we're hooking some on. Now we're going to bring it back. And the gold is not selling. That's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna bring it over this way a little bit. The blue, the dark blue, that ugh, Venetian blue always sells. It's crazy and I like it. So guys, you can actually do a painting like this and just leave it and not do any enhancements to it whatsoever. And just watch it develop. It's just spectacular to watch them develop. Oh, geez. Is this gonna work? It is. Okay. Well, ain't that pretty. <gasps> Look at, oh, the gold is coming through the turquoise. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, love it. I love that green gold too. See that over here? That's all gonna sell up really nice. But the gold might sell up still through here because I did tip it quite a bit. As a matter of fact, I might even tip it some more. Just for good measure. And I'm gonna torch it. And oops, this one's. Yeah, I don't think I like these things too much. They've always been kind of a pain in the butt. You have to make sure that they're in the right spot. All right, I'm gonna torch and then I'm going to town. I'll put you guys on time lapse so you don't have to. So this, so this won't be an hour long video.
Hey guys, so this is it. Not sure about it. Um, a little busy. But that's what happens when you get lots of cells. <laughs> I love up here these three like stacks. <clears throat> Actually, there was um, a bug that made its way through here and it kind of made a little enhanced my my piece on its own look at that right there isn't that cool i love those cells and then more up here it looks like an aquarium and the gold <clears throat> is kind of shining through too Cool. I added some man-made cells there. And I wasn't happy, it was like so busy right here. I took all of that off and then just report it. So it might change by morning. So, anywho, look at those little guys. This is it for now. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now. Hey guys, so this is the dried result. I hope I'm not gonna get any shadows in this, but oh, the gold is really shimmering. This is in my backyard. And um, I wasn't happy with it at first, but I'm really liking it now. Isn't it funny how that happens after it dries? You're like, ooh, that's not bad at all. I like that. So, thank you, Kathleen. And uh, you guys take care. Be safe and create. And ciao for now.